some of the issues that we've all got to come together to be able to fight, the progressive fight, right? All of us, and not separately. The other thing is, is we need to educate ourselves about each other's movements, right? And the other thing that I wanna talk about is immigration because immigrants have always been scapegoats, right? They have been scapegoats. And what is it that the Latino community and the immigrant community, because it's bigger than just let the Latinos come in, what is it that we want? We want the legalization of all the undocumented people here in the United States. Now, why should they be legalized? Because you know what? Everybody that's come to this country, unless you're Native American, has been legalized at one time or the other, every single person. So we have to remind everyone, your family came from somewhere. And if they came through Ellis Island and they could walk, they were legalized. And in the 1920s, in the United States of America, we had more people who were not born in this country, more foreign born than native born here in the United States, in our population. So what we're asking for, that all the people that are here now, that are really contributing with the sweat of their brows, with the work that they're doing, with their contributions that they're making to the economy, and yes, contributions to social security. So we're saying legalize these workers that are here right now because they are contributing not only with their work, but financially to our system. So this, this is another way that our movements here can come together to put the pressure on our Congress people, on our senators, tell them to vote for the legalization of all our undocumented people that are here right now in our country. Now, I have said this before, many of the same people who have fought the LGBT movement, these, are the same people, these are the same people that are fighting the immigrants. And you know, you know, the Ku Klux Klan, they actually had a press conference the other day and they said, they said their membership has grown by 63% in fighting, in fighting against immigrants. And now they were like, we're stronger than ever. We can continue to go after the blacks and the Jews, right? And also the gays and the lesbian movement because we, we are all part of their enemies. So this, this is what we have to do. We, we have to get out there. And, and I know, I know already, some of you are already doing the work, so I am preaching to the choir. But I, I think we have to do more, you know? Sometimes we, we get caught in our comfort zones when we talk to each other because we get stuck, but we, we really got to get out there and we got to talk to those people that they don't kind of agree with us. We got to get out there. We got to ruffle some feathers and we got to make people uncomfortable. But, but if we don't do that, then nothing's going to change. You know, I was beaten up in San Francisco by the police. We were, we were doing a rally actually against George Bush the <laughs> first. He was planning a fundraiser in San Francisco and there was this big demonstration against him. And there was this big, huge crowd from the gay community there and they were, decked out many of them with red direct tops, blue and white stripes in skirts, and they were carrying these signs, these signs that said, Bush is a drag. <laughs> <sighs>
It was at that demonstration that I was severely beaten by the police. I, I, you, I want you to know this. When I was lying in the gurney in the hospital, nobody was paying attention to me. I was bleeding out internally. And this one attendant, he was gay. He came up to me and he just was like, oh my God, you look terrible. And I'm gonna get you out of here. And he took my gurney and he said, I'm going to put you right here in the path where the doctors will have to trip over you. And sure enough, he put me in the path where the doctors had to trip over me and the doctor tripped over my gurney. And he said, what is the matter with this woman? And the doctor, he said, I don't know, she looks terrible. And then at about that time, I started going into convulsions and I blacked out. That person saved my life. He saved my life. And for that, I am very grateful. So really what we're talking about, we're talking about truth, but it's also talking about justice. So we really, we've got to get out there and do the work that we need to do one of the sayings that I use with Latinos, because, you know, we have all these ministers and the priests that are preaching against our movement. And this one saying that really clicks with the Latinos is, is this that I want to share with you. It's, um, it's a saying from one of the greatest presidents of Mexico, Benito Juarez. He was the first president after they got independence from Spain. He was a Oaxacan Indian and his saying in Spanish, it's very famous. It says, El respeto al derecho ajeno es la paz. And in English, that says, respecting other people's rights is peace. This is all we ask. Respect our human rights. Respect our human rights. This is all we ask.